It's game week again for ECU football as they're gearing up to host Gardner-Webb this weekend. It's the second time they faced them in the past four seasons. They played them back in 2019 and won 48-9 in that one. They know they'll need great quarterback play this time around to see a similar result. I am excited about both Alex and Mason. Um, I would expect that they're both going to play big parts in our program and our team uh, down the stretch this year. But, uh, you know, both of them will be prepared to go on Saturday, and, uh, and I would expect both of them to be better the next time you see them on the field. It wasn't much different other than I guess I was in with the one line a little bit more. But, um, you know, I just try to approach it like I'm going to play every week, so I'll be ready when my name's called. Splin started at quarterback at App State in their 43-28 loss. He was 17 for 31. For 158 yards passing, he did throw three interceptions in the game. He also ran for six total yards thanks to three sacks. We've got to do a great job as, a, as an offense functioning and playing together. Obviously, Alex did a lot of really good things on Saturday. He also had some mistakes. For what it's worth, Flynn was again with the first offensive line at practice on Tuesday, holding the positions Mason Garcia had held earlier in the season in the portions of practice we were able to shoot. We'll see if that means anything on Saturday. One thing is for sure. Alex will be ready to face Gardner Webb this weekend. The one thing I know about Alex is he's going to learn from his mistakes. You know, he is he's going to be better the next time he's in the exact same situations. I think just with the more game reps that I can get, I think I'll be able to improve, but um you know, I'll just continue to be ready. My name's called. You can tell by his attitude, Flynn is one of those character guys Coach Houston always speaks of on the Pirates. Offensive coordinator Donnie Kirkpatrick certainly agrees with that assessment. He's an amazing young man. You know, he's a 4.0 student, already graduated. He was the student of the college in exercise science. He's now working on an MBA. He's making straight A's in that as well. So I wish I could introduce my daughter to him. You know, he's that, he's that kid. He really is, you know, that guy. That guy and the rest of the Pirates know they're working too hard for this losing streak to continue. Yeah, it's tough. We just got to stick together as a, as, a, as a team, as a group, and as a family and kind of keep uh, that first. You know, don't try not to get down on um, any guys. Well, we just got to keep going, got to keep, got to keep building off this, off the 0-3, and just keep, keep building because at the end of the day, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You know, we're not in conference play yet. The Pirates face Gardner-Webb this Saturday at 6 p.m. at Dowdy-Ficklin Stadium. Could be a wet and rainy night, so come prepared.